Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have a very interesting car with me. Actually it's a van and I don't know if you heard about the new Hyundai Staria but this van is just insane. It's a people carrier and it's just incredible. I mean the quality inside here, the technology, the safety features, the comfort features are way way better than the competition and I will show you in this video we will make the full review interior exterior. I will try to explain you everything about this Staria and before we go forward guys let's talk about technical data the problem with technical data because the car is brand new I have just the technical data and I, I'm not sure about the price but as soon as I find out the price I will add the price in the description of the video so you will find out also the price now first of all I want to tell you that this car come with the diesel version so it comes with a 2.2 liter diesel engine 175 horsepower and 430 newton meters also the car come with an automatic transmission with eight speed dct that is just incredible i mean i use this transmission i tested before on hyundai cars and it's gorgeous the engine is the diesel engine it's a very economical it's actually perfect for this type of cars and this staria is just perfect for example for a big family for example for a shutter from air port for a taxi because it has so much high quality it looks so modern it has so much technology it's for the first time in my life when I go inside a van and I feel like I'm inside a normal production car because you go inside here the seats are incredible the technology the steering wheel the multimedia system the cockpit everything here it feels like you are in a premium normal production car so that was for me just incredible even for the driver usually in those type of cars the driver doesn't have so much tech maybe the people in the back the seats are super comfy and nice but when you are going in the driver's seat in this car you really feel like you are in a premium car and that's something that really come first in my mind when I when I get inside the car and when I drive the car by the way I will have a separate video with a test drive there you can see also on the road guys how is the handlings how are the suspension the steering wheel the direction and everything in terms of driving yeah those are the technical data I will give you also a few more technical data as we go in the video also keep in mind that this version that I have it with me is the lounge version it's kind of Highlander version is the top end version where it comes also with a glass roof with two glass roofs ventilated seats heated seats a lot of tech that you will find out in this video so I will go in this video in every single detail so you will know everything about the car at the end of the video by the way guys if you're new on my channel click the subscribe button to see all the new videos all the new cars that will come on my channel and also to see the test drive when the test drive video will come out with this car so anyway let's go outside and let's continue the review guys all right guys here we are outside and of course as always first of all we will start with the key is the same key as Hyundai use it also on the Tucson or Santa Fe it's a light key and pretty modern what you can do with this key of course you can lock and unlock the car from the button but the car come with keyless entrance and all you have to do is just press this button and you lock the car you can see it comes with electronic folding mirrors that's a great feature for a van as well and also it comes with a nice LED light that you can see it behind the handle right here so yeah anyway we will talk a little bit later about the handles then another thing that you can do with the key of course is just open the trunk you have a lift gate in a van that's impressive I don't know how many vans these days have electric uh, folding tailgate in the back for example Volkswagen T6 doesn't have it maybe the new Volkswagen uh, ID Buzz maybe it will be a competition for this Staria but uh, the way I see this Staria with all that features I don't know I don't know how many cars come with so much tech for example you can open the door from these buttons look at this just press the button hold it actually and you can open the doors how cool is that i mean whoa and then you want to open the other one look at this you open the both doors from the key from here and of course you can also close it back holding the button you close the door lovely man I mean the tech is just incredible you don't even need to go close to the car you put your 
it's, it's incredible for shutter to impress people. This is a high, high end class, great technology, lovely car. I mean, I love it. I mean, what Hyundai did with, with the cars in the last years, even in this people carrier MPV uh, van, I don't know how to call it because it looks pretty compact, to be honest, when you look from outside. Let me go inside here and let's start the engine. It's very simple to start the engine. Uh, I want to turn on the lights as well. And also here, the fog lamps, of course, because I want to show you the lights. The lights will impress you. I mean, the tech, it's incredible in this car. Let me make a tour around the car. First of all, when I see the front of the car, I was like, oh, this is like an alien, man. I mean, it looks like an alien, but from the back of the car, it's so modern, so beautiful beautiful shapes beautiful lines in my opinion the back of the car is just incredible it's perfect for a van it looks so modern so nice it's like from from another world and also if you see the video from presentation the way hyundai did it it did it different you know it's like coming from the space and if you look at the front of the car it's it's like a little alien coming from other world you can see that the, the light, the LED light that goes all over the front of the car is just incredible. I mean, look at the grill, how big it is, the light, it's crazy. In terms of design, it's just so unique, so boldish, so new. It's just they kill the game, they kill the competition with this car. Only the new ID Buzz, Volkswagen ID Buzz, maybe they can compete with this. I'm really curious to see that as well. I don't know with what to start, guys. Let me start by talking a little bit about the front end of the car. You can see that they also make it this shape. Not only that it's new and different, but also help the aerodynamic of the car. The way it's designed, it helps the air to go around the car. So it helps the consumption and the CO2 emission. I like the light bar right here, the daylight that goes across the front of the car. It's really interesting, really unique. Uh, I really like it. I really find it intelligent. Also round shape, round shape, all the air go around the car. This is also pretty cool. It comes down here uh, with full LED light, high beam, low beam, everything's it's LED light, even the turning signals. This new pixel design from Hyundai is just lovely, man. I mean, they kill it. Going to the grill right here in the front, you can see the grill. It's very similar with what we see on Tucson or Santa Fe, and it's quite nice. I really like the design. It's really unique and interesting. Then you can see right here the front camera. So the car come uh, with a front camera right here. It comes with 360 degrees camera so you can see as well as on the other brother from uh, Staria the 360 degrees probably you see it already on my channel on the other reviews if you go down here it's continuing with the same grill interesting the way they they extend the grill until down here and then you will see the radar here is the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features and on the down part also you can see some interesting design down here they add some kind of nice dark gray uh, glossy plastic it looks really interesting man i mean it's incredible look at this look at the front grille it's really really interesting alien this is the nickname that i give it little alien actually big alien it's a big alien but it's so compact if you compare it with volkswagen t6 this one look much smaller than the t6 and what i like more about this staria is the the windows guys they are huge the windows are huge you have amazing visibility from the interior of the car it's just incredible you will see when we go inside the car now another thing that i want to show you is the mirror right here on the mirror you have the same led lights and look at the look at the design how interesting they design it right here it's quite unique and nice and modern and you don't find this on, on, on other cars. Also, the mirror colors, it's, it's kind of a gray, glossy, kind of a chrome. I don't know how can I explain you, but are, the color is different than what you find on the, on the car. Then some glossy plastic around here. Also, a lot of elements, modern elements. Um, I like it very much. You have the camera here for 360 degrees. 
camera. I don't know if you can see it. I think you should see it. And then you have a big mirror with blind spot technology in the corner right there. Look at this, big mirrors. We will see when we go inside. I will show you as well. Great, going in the back, one of my favorite part uh, on the cars are also these lights. In the back here, we have this pixel uh, LED lights from Hyundai. This is the new technology. This is the fog lamp down here, the turning signals, and then this is the daylight. It looks so good. I don't know if in, on the video if you can see it so well, but it looks really, really good. And if I'm not wrong, up here you have an LED light, the brake light, and here it's closed right now. But if I'm not wrong, even this area here should be the, the brake light. I mean, when you brake, I think they will light up as well, but it's huge. I mean, in terms of light, one of the biggest, longest light on the back of the car. And I think in the nighttime, it looks lovely on the highway to be behind this car. It's so premium, really, really premium, guys. I mean, it will compete with a Mercedes without any problem of V-Class or uh, AQS or whatever. It's just, it's just much, much better, in my opinion, in terms of comfort and technology and price, of course, because the price of the car, I think it's around fifty sixty thousand dollars around there anyway great price you have even a wiper here to wipe your your back window that it's huge this back window also is defrosted you can defrost it without any problem and it's simple it's nice i like how clean and how beautiful they integrate this uh, logo right here and staria writing it's so beautiful on this glass love it you have the hyundai on the other side you have the hash track because it's all wheel drive then you have the reverse camera and here we don't have led lights we have normal bolt light on the number plate that's something to keep in mind but you can change it very simply also you can open the trunk from here manual if you want to actually you press the button and it's open also uh, automatic on the down part you have four parking sensors on the down area right here you have some protection here and then you have uh, parking, four parking sensors, some kind of simple design, clean design. You have a hook, you have a spare tire, by the way, the spare tire is down there. Keep in mind, you have a spare tire. And what I notice is also, look at the suspension. You have independent multi-link suspension in the back. So probably in the front, you have McPherson independent suspension. And in the back, probably you have multi-link semi-independent suspension. Uh, but I think they are very good anyway. I will do the test drive because I see them from here and yeah, they are, they are cool. Anyway, the back of the, the car, you already see it. Let me go on the other side. I don't want to miss something, guys. I really want to show you everything. Here is the, the diesel, the blue, add blue. It's here on the driver's side. That's a good thing. Very easy for the people that drive every day. The exhaust pipe is here. You can see it already. It's a diesel. Actually, I totally recommend you to go with a petrol engine, but yeah, it's your choice. Uh, the diesel is also more economic. Now, going forward, I like also the roof spoiler. Look at the roof spoiler. Look how nice it is with this glossy plastic. They, they try to make the car even sexier and nicer, and I like it, man. I mean, I love the design. I don't know about you, but I like it. The front, it's a little bit strange, but other than that, it's lovely lovely unique car i like also these big windows really big windows great visibility from the interior other than that everything it's simple here in this area very simple even on the down part nothing to to talk about the door it's simple and straight the way it should be it's just perfect the way it is also here big windows this one here you can open it up from the interior i will show you later if i don't forget uh, and then glossy plastic even here look at this the new trend like the expensive cars yes lovely look at the handles guys lovely handles big handles easy to use what it's important on a van where many people go in and out is that you have big and simple handles simple to use look at this and the quality of the door it's very good it's very good now if you want to open this door very simple, do it with your key or put your finger right here. Press it, uh, press it once and the door will open up. Simple, yeah? You have everything automated. You have also this button here, press the button and the door will close. So how cool is that? 
Now, uh, this video will be long because this car has so many tech on it. Now, I love the fact that they add this plastic protection here to protect this area where usually a lot of rust occurs. So those plastics here are very important. This is a good thing. Now, what I notice is the engine, the diesel engine, it's a little bit noisier. So that's why I tell you, maybe it's better to go with a petrol one, uh, but it's okay. This one is great for, for consumption because you see so beautiful car, you expect to be electric, you expect to be silent, but you hear that engine, diesel engine that remind you of that old, old, oldish vans. So that's something that I would change totally. But other than that, nice integrated uh, logo here in the front and yeah, I think I show you almost everything. Let's talk a little bit about the rims. It comes with 18 inch rims. They look nice, really interesting, really unique for a van. Ventilated brake discs in the front. I don't know if you can see it. And on the rear, the same ventilated brake discs. I tried to show you uh, all the details. I hope you can see it, guys. And if I go a little bit backward, I try to show you one more time the car from the side so you will make an idea look how big is the window in the front i mean it's huge huge windows i think it's one of the biggest window <laughs> in the front ever i don't know if you can see it but we will go now inside and i will show you ah by the way up there you have a camera for reading the traffic speed limit lane assist all that safety features also you have the raining and light sensors the wipers i noticed that they are also good quality so they are quite good now going inside here i want to turn off the light everything here inside we will talk when it goes later a little bit i don't want to go too much into detail right now actually let me stop the engine and i want to tell you a few things from here you open the the front i want to tell you a few things after all because i i don't want to miss telling you something guys when we talk about this car. Also here you have a lift gate, a small lift gate where you have this engine. It's, it's a manual one. Then you have the wiper. You have this turbo diesel engine, 2.2 liters, 175 Newton meters, the battery, the fuse box, everything here look not so like the exterior or the interior, but yeah, I wish to see this car in electric version that would be awesome i mean to see this electric whoa that will kill the market now with what to begin guys let's begin with the back okay let's begin here in the back let's open it up press the button open this huge lift gate slowly and safety here are the buttons to close it you have a handle up here other than that whoa i mean it's huge this entrance man you can carry a lot of stuff with it if i'm not wrong uh, they will take out if it's not already on the market also an utility vehicle with the same shape and it's totally huge man huge if from the side it looks compact from the back it looks huge i think it's a little bit more wider they make it quite wider and it's incredible i mean in terms of space i'm on wide completely wide with my camera and i cannot show you everything i mean i have to move the camera down here you have a flat floor completely completely flat floor a little bit of plastic you can put your things very easy inside here you can slide them inside super super easy um, if i'm not wrong when those seats are completely up yeah let me put it up just like that super simple and i'm not sure let me try to push it backward i think i have to pull this and push it yes and then they said that you have a round i think how can i go more i'm not sure if i can go more guys i'm not sure about that this is something to fold the seats but usually it should go a little bit more it's around 831 liters there in the back let me open that there in the back should be 831 liters, but I'm not sure if I can get, yes, I can get them even further in the front, but I don't know why it's not working right now. Anyway, you have more possibilities here. For example, if you pull this like that, all the seats will come up. Yes, and then I think there will be around 831 liters in the back there, so you can add so many things. It's just 
It's just incredible in terms of space. It's crazy. This is the seven seater, by the way, guys. I forget to tell you. Uh, you can get it also with the nine seats and also like an utility vehicle. And this is the most luxurious variant. I will show you. It's just incredible. Also, even here you have huge space. In my opinion, from what I see here, maybe you have around 400, 400 liters with this space. What I see right now, for, I think, yeah around there also you see before that you can easily fold down those seats you just have to pull this up and then press them like this i have to push it also in the front there so i can show you how they look down also this one you can fold it down uh, it's complicating to do all this with one hand but yeah, let me pause the video a little bit. I just fold the seats down and I have to tell you, I just uh, check it out before and this is the maximum that you can do it. You cannot push it more forward than that, but you can pull it through you more just like that. So if you want, you can pull it completely like that. And then you have huge space behind the seats there, behind the, the second row, you will have incredible space to put your stuff, your luggage and wherever you want to put it there. But also you can push it the way you want it. And also if you fold it down just like that in this position, you will have a lot of space here to, to use it the way you want. I'm not sure, completely sure if you can get this out from here. I'm not completely sure, but I think you can get also this out. If you want to carry big items, you leave only four seats in the car and then you carry uh, big items in the back. I'm not sure about that, but I think you, it's possible to do that. Anyway, you can push it back. You can put it the way you want it. Uh, it's very simple uh, to adjust it. And also if I go here on the side, you will see one more time how much space you have in the back. So this is, this is really good. In my opinion, in terms of space, it's, it's perfect. And also, I like very much the quality down here. I noticed that this carpet, it's really, really high quality. And it's, it's just perfect, perfect. Anyway, let me go in the back. I want to show you the, the last things here in the back, and then we will go in the front. So first of all, you have some hooks here in the corners. You have the speakers on the side hooks. Uh, also in this area, the same hooks, hooks. And this is it, guys. Let me go inside the car. Actually, let me close the trunk from here. You can also lock it, press the button. It will close for you automatically. And I want to go inside here. If you want to go inside, I notice that you have to fold the seat somehow down because uh, it's not so much space here. So you have to do it electrically from here. Those, this model is the model with those luxurious seats or i don't remember how they call it anyway let me go inside let me show you guys going inside here it's pretty relatively easy at least for me and i have so much space here look at this guy i almost sit on, on on inside here inside the car i mean i have plenty of space but let me put the seats back push it like this push the seats back they are quite heavy and it's not so easy to do that only with one hand you can leave it in this position or you can pull it and push it forward so you have kind of two position, I should say. I don't know how can I explain you. Here we are guys in the back. Here in the back, actually you have kind of a free seat. Let me show you a little bit better. Look at those seats. Leather seats, high quality seats. I always, always, always love the seats that Hyundai made it. And I always tell you guys that they make super high quality seats. The same quality as you find it on Santa Fe or Tucson. Awesome seats, really, really love them. Also, you have some storage space down there. But if you wanna sit here on the side, you don't have any uh, armrest or cup holder here in the middle because they, they design it the way that free people can sit here in the back. So it's like a sofa. It's completely, almost completely flat like a sofa. So once you are here, actually, if you wanna close the door, you do it like that and then the door will close for you automatically and we make much more sense because so many cars outside a lot of noise here and i just want to be a little bit more quiet here inside now let's talk a little bit about the position of the seats so in terms of comfort and quality it's really 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 good i mean i love it i love it the only thing maybe i wish to have some kind of armrest here you, you can see it's a plastic i wish it was somehow a little bit softer material but other than that 
it's lovely. I mean, the way I sit here, it's really, really good. Then look at the space on my head, huge space. I have 173 centimeter, keep this in mind until the end of the video. And on the legs, I don't know if it's really make any sense <laughs> to to measure that because I can stretch my, my legs completely here. So in terms of that, it's perfect. Then I have this huge windows in terms of visibility one of the best you can also open it up like that if you want to you cannot open it completely but you can open it a little bit to get some air and you have also this privacy protection like a star if you are a star you have a driver and you go to concert or whatever you want to do or whatever you do this is one of the best car for this kind of stuff, you know. Uh, you have a USB port here, you have a speaker here, the quality here, it's it's gorgeous. I mean, it's like Alcantara. I'm not sure if it's Alcantara. It's feel the same as Alcantara everywhere on the roof. Everywhere on the roof, guys, everywhere you have this kind of Alcantara. It's just incredible in terms of quality. It's just, wow, top notch, top notch. Up here, LED light look lovely to be honest let's go in the middle here let's see how it's feel in the middle in the middle it's a little bit more stiffer the headroom it's perfect leg room i don't even need to show you it's just lovely you can sit with your leg the way you want it you have plenty of space in the left side and the right side so three people here you can see i stretch my hand completely 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 and three people can sit here without any problem you have some storage here two cup holders as well in on the both sides also you have an ambient light i think it's 64 colors you can change the colors of the ambient light inside the car not sure you can see it right now it's daytime but here it's an ambient light and yeah nice 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 and i love the 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 floor guys the quality on the floor is very good behind the front seats here uh you have some plastic but nothing else to be honest this is it uh, you have a handle up here you have vents up there in the front again vents here and another handle for the, the passengers in the front let me go in the front here i can go very easily you can see i can walk here inside the car very easy because it's so big man i mean it's it's big it's like a bus and let me let me sit here for a second because the other one is already uh, moved now i'm here and guys look at this the headrest it's so soft you have side support on your headrest how, how about that how about that man oh yeah you know how you feel here like like a ceo if you don't see the advertising from hyundai it says ah, and ceo will stay here you have your driver you go to work relaxing the sound insulation in the car it's incredible good you can hear anything from outside and this headrest oh man it's a bless it's gorgeous i mean every car in the back should have this headrest because you can sit like this you can even sleep here wow it's awesome you have armrest here leather of course leather seats lovely incredible high quality seats man the hyundai they are good with the seats really good really good quality love it and check this out you see those little holes here and here you know what that mean guys you know what that mean that mean <laughs> yes ventilated seats heated seats how about that you can use ventilated seats and also heated seats free position free position for ventilated seats it's just crazy man and you have electric adjustable seats here in the back like a business like a business class what do you think about that you can adjust the position the way you want in the front in the back it's just lovely i mean one of the best seats ever and check this out you remember ionic 5 with those incredible seats that you can fold it up and even the front part down here will fold up and you will sit on your back you remember that yeah not only yeah check this out first of all let's adjust the front seat let me put the front seat a little bit forward you can see you can adjust it from here the front seats you can make your space for yourself anyway there it's plenty of space you can still see it look at this guys i hope you can see that you have a button here you press this button yes yes look at this the, the seats right now will extend on the back oh my god check this out 
on my legs as well. Look at this, man. And I have another armrest here. Yes, just like that. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. This is the way you should, you should travel like that. I mean, this is like a airplane first class. God, it's awesome. Really, I love this position, man. I, I, I mean, the massage is the only thing that's missing from here. But other than that, press the button again. I think I, I think you have to hold it for a few. No, just press it one time. Look at this. You go back. Also the legs. Go back. Shit. I think you see that. I hope you see that on the video. I cannot do it myself with the camera. I cannot show you that. But it's incredible. I, maybe I can show you with the other seat. Look at this. Look at this, man. And you sit on the seat. And the seat will extend even that down part, even the upper part. Holy cow. Oh man, I love this car. I want one. I mean, if you have kids, yeah, they will be super happy. And also this part here should, should extend. Why it's not extending? I don't understand. With me, it was extended. Maybe it feels like it's nothing there and that why. I'm not sure about that, but it's incredible. I mean... The seats, the quality, the technology here, it's crazy. And also you can adjust the seats right now if you want to adjust it. The position is just lovely. Here you have a handle, handle. Uh, here you have the climatic system that you can turn it on. Let me actually turn on the... Put the contact on and let me show you that. Come on, man. Where are you? Off. I think I have to put it one more time. No. Yeah. Okay. Now it's good. Now it's good. Oh, look at this. You have the climatic controllers up here on the roof and you can choose the temperature. You can choose wherever you want. You have vents here on the roof and the air will come inside the cabin from here, from here as well. Handle. Lovely, man. I love it. Also another LED up here. The same gorgeous quality. Here you have a camera. What about that, guys? Here you can speak. And here you have a camera, you see that? The same as in Tesla Model 3 and in the new Teslas, you have a camera that you can see the people there on the screen, what it's here in the back. I will show you when we go in the front there. Here you have some storage space, leather, hooks, huge space on my legs. I don't even need to talk about the leg space in this car and or head space. I mean, it's, 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 it's play no role about that. It's huge. You can open this window, I promise I will show you. Just like that. Okay, and then you can fold it back. It's so hard to do it with one hand, sorry about that, but you can still open this window. This is huge, I mean, this, this is really, really cool feature and it's so simple to use it, the quality, it's awesome. You have privacy protection from up down here, just like that. You, you feel like a star inside this car. Let me turn off this climatic system. You will feel like a star. Anyway, here you have a flat floor. You have two USB ports. Down there you have a, a drawer. Draw. And then up here you push this up and you have two cup holders. How cool about that? What about that? And then you have a big center console here. That I will show you in a second. Here you can put different stuff. And this one, you can also close it. You press this button and close it like that. You have LED lights around here. It's a blue light right now. I think you can see it. And you have also that star in LED light. Lovely, man. I mean, I love it. Really love the things that, what, what they did here. It's just so awesome. And then here you have so much space. I mean, it's a huge space there where you can put your stuff. It's, it's big, it's really big that space. I don't I can show you, but it's big. And then you have these two cup holders where the keys are right now. Let me put the keys down there. Awesome. Now guys, uh, we will go in the front. We will talk about the multimedia system, the dashboard, the design there in the front. But in my opinion, guys, I tell you, it's, it's awesome. I mean, look at this. Look at the space, how big is that? Those windows on the side in terms of visibility you have awesome visibility huge huge visibility guys and the dashboard it's very similar with the tucson and also the steering wheel it's it's from tucson guys it's the same steering wheel that hyundai use it on the new tucson it's awesome i mean and i can believe so much technology design and 
uh, quality on a van. I mean, it's wow. Great job, Hyundai. Love you, man. I love the guys that work on this car. A few days ago, uh, someone from Hyundai, some workers write me and tell me, uh, oh, we work about, on this car and thank you for your videos. And I say to you again, guys, you did a great job. I mean, you do a great job. Keep it like that and you will be on the top. Anyway, let's go in the front. Anyway, before we go in the front, I forget to show you this Taria logo here with chrome and the entrance and the lights right here. And also on the door, you have some cup holders. I forget to show you the cup holders on the door down there. And you have the Bose speaker. You can see it on the other side. Yes, you can see it. Sorry about that. I just forget about it. Let me close the door, press this button and the door will be closed open the door in the front it's a huge door a huge entrance also in the front here and on the door you have huge space in the door bands you have an led light when you open the door right here awesome then the nice finger design Bose sound system amazing sound system in the car some storage space again here uh, and here you have some kind of storage space and also the handle to close the door soft material in this area with stitches i think this is leather yes and then you have the, the handle in chrome here again, some kind of storage space. Then you have the buttons, the windows, uh, electric windows in the front for you and the passenger, lock and unlock button. You can adjust the mirror the way you want it and also you can fold it electrically. Huge window, great visibility. The entrance here, you have kind of a step because the ground clearance is quite high, to be honest. And yeah, you cannot, I know, I'm not sure if you can go directly up there. Uh, maybe if you're very tall, but you have still this step here to go very easily. And yeah, I like that. I noticed that you have plenty of space here also on your head. Yeah, guys, I just forget to speak about something. How can I forget about that? How can I forget about something? One of the most important thing uh, in the back here. When you fall down the seats and you sit on your back, you see that gorgeous, gorgeous panoramic glass roof. I don't know how I forget about it but it's just incredible i mean not many vans i don't know which van have this panoramic glass roof but this is one of the uniquest thing on the market van with a glass roof i don't know tell me guys write me i don't remember a van with a glass roof not sure if the id buzz will have that anyway Big entrance here, as I said before, you have another glass roof here. And something that I want to show you, actually, let me start the engine for a while. And then up here, you have these two controllers buttons, one for the first and one for the rear. And on the rear, guys, all you can do, you cannot open the rear, but you can close that protection for the sun, you see? I don't know if you can see it. I think you can see it, yes. But in the front, you have this manual and if you want to open it up you can open it up completely and it's working really fast and the quality is good so you can leave some air come inside the car or you can close it completely just like that so that's something to keep in mind i love those glass roofs it's really nice uh, to have it on your car uh, this is something that i want to show you before we go forward now let me go outside to show you the seats here in the front the same high quality seats as on the back there same leather same great design love the design of the of the seats and the quality it's incredible also of course those seats are also ventilated and heated seats the same as in the back and you can see the little holes there where the air will come in electric adjustable seats from here you can adjust it electrically in every position you want you have side support side support awesome awesome seats and also the headrest it's so soft this is the new new trend in terms of headrest all the new headrests they come a little bit more softer than before so that's a nice nice trend that nobody talk about and i just want to point out going forward aluminum pedals in a van okay nice nice and then you have the fuse box here and then you have electronic handbrake love that uh, lock the four-wheel drive this is the position of the light then you have the heated steering wheel the traction control turn it off and on going up a little bit you can see the crazy dashboard design futuristic new design it's it's awesome here you have the vent some glossy plastic the vents also feel quite nice i like the the line vents that you see it somehow 
in a Tucson it looks quite similar and not only that you have a cup holder here you have speakers in the corners and also in the middle there and also the way they design this and they place this head-up display digital head-up display not many vans these days have digital cockpit so great job Hyundai I love that so they care about all the drivers you know because Volkswagen and other cars they don't care about the driver they make great seats in the back also Mercedes the same great seats in the back amazing tech and stuff and, and space and st but the driver have the old steering wheel have the old cockpit have the old stuff no man I mean you care about everybody when you do it you do it right you do it like this leather seats awesome quality great cockpit great technology great steering wheel I love that I love that and plus you have some storage space here guys if you didn't know i show you you can put your phone or wherever you want to put it this area it's plastic by the way but you don't even notice i mean this is not a big deal something that i like also those stalks look at the stalks the same stalks like you find it on hyundai santa fe or tucson awesome quality uh, you can adjust the steering wheel manual from here up down and forward backward i mean let me go inside let me go inside right now okay close the doors visibility incredible i don't have the the lens wide enough to show you how good the visibility it is also the windshield it's quite long and nice uh great visibility even in the mirror up here look at this gorgeous visibility look how big is the window in the back there have perfect visibility around the windows maybe a little bit of blind spots some people maybe will complain about this area here but for me it doesn't matter I mean look at the from the driver point of view I drive the car and also test check out the test drive I will talk about that in the test drive there and you will see but in terms of visibility around the car it's awesome no blind spot big window so you can see without any problem you can park the car you can see what it's around the car there here you have this armrest that you can adjust it like that and then here in the middle you have this big big giant insole I think they call it an insole you have some storage space and I'm not sure if you can move this insole I think it's fixed you cannot move it but it's like an electric car you know you have so much space here it's huge it's flat you can move from a part to another you have some storage space down here you have two USB ports you have a 12 volt port down here you have another storage space um, so in terms of space it's perfect lovely I love it and uh, if you want to reach out on the other side the same vents by the way and this is the the glow box it's quite relatively small it's not a big glow box but you have plenty of spaces here and there you have also this nice design on the dash I like it I like the dash I like the design it looks lovely modern and new and futuristic also another space here by the way just want to point out that plenty of spaces uh, you can complain about here you have also this big huge mirror with the light it's a normal bulb light but you have up here some LED lights and the tech it's awesome and there you have also some buttons for example if you want to open a door you can open it from here I will show you in a second you can lock the door so you can open the front from here so let me show you for example if you want to open this you press this button for the door and then that door should open look at this okay come in please come in sir where should i get you all right come in and you close it and nobody have to touch the doors it's covid free this this car it's covid safe i should say nobody touch anything anyway let's go forward here's the blinker button then you have the start engine button same as on the normal hyundai here you have the shift by wire transmission where you can go in different driving mode i love that really this is one of my favorite and to find it in a van now it's something well i like that and how easy it is press the air button and you have this uh, reverse camera you have 360 degrees cameras here great resolution uh great contrast i love what hyundai did with those cameras man i mean it's cool and when you drive the car it looks awesome you have it 360 look at this look at my alien car alien car man it looks so lovely I wish I can see it in white I think white it's beautiful with all that black windows tinted windows the car will look so nice anyway let's go back to parking 
electronic handbrake is on the other side i showed you before here you have a storage space where you can charge your phone wireless keep this in mind yes wireless charging here for the phone and then here look at this yes you have a support for your glass going forward you have ventilated seats in the front heated seats in the front by the way then you can change the different driving modes from here you have this those buttons here are kind of a touch buttons and you can see how nice they integrate the climatic system and the multimedia here on this screen it's beautiful and by the way let me show you the cockpit you can change the different driving mode you have three different driving mode echo sport and normal okay every time you change it it's changed the graphic is the same as on the other um, hyundai uh, models new models and then going forward auto hold it's right here that's something to keep in mind so if you want to use auto hold you have to activate it from here then the camera of course the button for the camera you activate it the 360 degrees camera the parking sensors and then the seats uh, for for the passenger then here you have the climatic system guys you have to press the button when you press the button you can also adjust the things from here from the screen right now it's other language it's off but you can turn it on you can also turn it on from here from the side you can turn on and off the speed vents the way you want to uh, use it and also you have here recycling off up down left right and wherever you want to use it you can do it without any problem from from here you can control the temperature and stuff like that so also you can use the the screen if you want to or you can use those buttons down here so yeah i think you get the point now actually let's go to the multimedia system let's change the language i want to show you also how easy it is to change the language you go here to settings speak english all right simple and you have so many languages here by the way so many languages that you can change it the multimedia is the newest multimedia on the market from hyundai i have a separate video with it uh, there you, i show you also the android i have two videos one it's with how to connect your android phone and apple phone here and one it's with all multimedia system i show every single detail but i still want to go in detail to show you the graphics the screen it's perfect 10 inch i think 10 and 25 inch display it's gorgeous lovely colors uh, visibility from the driver point of view it's really relatively good so you can see everything good here you have the map here the map it's great one of the best bright nice very fast you can save you can set the destination in a few seconds just press those buttons i see also the processor it's loading very fast then here on the side you can also have a nice small place where you can put the things or you can take it out completely and you can see only the navigation all over the screen uh, great one of the best i think one of the best uh, multimedia system in a van ever i love it uh, there you have some shortcut buttons here navigation map you have the media you have the radio you have the setup here if you go to setup vehicle setup here you have all that safety features for example convenience driving uh, then you have the speed limit warning timing warning volume driver attention warning forward safety lane assist blind spot safety parking safety all the safety features are here and you have the instrument cluster you can adjust from here climatic system seats lights doors convenience how easy how cool how nice so many so many options here uh, to change from you have the navigation settings you have the sound settings here if you want to change different settings on the sound you can use it simple from here very simple and very nice phone connectivity you can connect your phone bluetooth android auto wireless keep in mind you can do it wireless if i'm not wrong i read about that and you can do it wirelessly yeah here it says you have to use a cable but i think you can do it wireless as well because i read somewhere about that go to general here on the general settings you see already you have the language you have the units control media and stuff like that and those are the most important things i don't want to go too much into detail about those things passenger view by the way this is new guys go to passenger view and you see that camera look at it you see what it's inside the car if you have kids what are you doing kids there you're driving and you say oh why why stay stay there stay down because the camera it's up here i show you and it's a view like that 
okay not the same quality as my camera but still very good quality and you can see what happened there in the back so this is the passenger passenger view and also passenger talk you can say speak now all right i talk and then end so it's quite nice i'm not sure for what is this really hello everybody's there passenger talk what is this for really interesting I think it should be something but I don't know why uh, anyway quiet mode climatic real climatics here it's in the back so you can choose the things there in the rear then the valet mode projection phone projection passenger tax settings I already show you the settings yes and yeah those are the most important things I didn't miss anything this is the main menu oh, sound of nature you still have it radio and manual anyway those are all guys uh, this is the multimedia I have a separate video so check it out but I like the way they design it I love the dashboard it's it's super nice it's very similar with Tucson uh, the cockpit guys yeah it is what it is also you can control it from here from those buttons for the steering wheel the same as you do it also with the other uh, Hyundai cars you can see the speed limit direction information about consumption uh, right here for example we will do the test drive and then we will see also in the test drive video all the infos about that also we will test the consumption and of course from here you have the lane assist you have the distance from the car in front you can activate the cruise control uh, also we will test the cruise control in my other video so check it out also it's very simple to use it from here so check out the other test drive video you have pedals behind the steering wheel you can change the gear manual if you want to have some fun and on the other side you have the buttons for the voice command uh, telephone volume and stuff like that so yeah it's nice other than that the steering wheel as i said before the same as on the tucson i love the steering wheel i love the grip i love the way they design it it's it's in my opinion one of the best and also what i notice it's very light it's super super light to to drive this car and i love that this is one of my favorite thing and let's talk a little bit in the end so what i notice in the car my conclusion and my rating for this car uh, from 1 to 10 will be taking into consideration price quality design safety features i think from 1 to 10 will be 9.7 this will be my rating for the car i wish i will see this car also in electric version if someone for from hyundai hear me that would be awesome in the future guys i think it's a great competitor for what was until now on the market i don't know if it's probably the best one in my, in my eyes in my opinion i love the car i think i think it's really the best if i have to buy tomorrow i need to buy a car a van passenger carrier like that probably will be uh, this Hyundai Staria. I hope you enjoyed the video as always I hope it was useful if you have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask me I will make a test drive video with the same car so uh, check it out next days on the channel click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out also guys thank you for watching I really appreciate that really thank you for watching my videos I will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car if you want to see the car the rest of the technical data about the car that I didn't have it today and i don't know the price you will find it in the description of the video i hope i will get uh, the infos until the video will come out check out our website sdadancar.com there you find a lot of articles information about cars videos and tips that was the video thank you for watching stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys